it's as if like um, you've got a car that's you know wheel spinning I don't know what you call that um, burning rubber you know uh, it's like that and it's like choom, you take the handbrake off and boom like, a bit like drag racing you know uh, and it's taking the handbrake off and the green light's gone and, and it's, it's time to go it's time Scorpio 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 how you doing welcome to your astro flower reading this is going to be a reading going from the 14th through to the 20th of November um your uh eclipse reading will be coming out tonight as well have problems uh complications with technology again uh, i'm putting it down the miles retrograde <laughs> at the moment um yeah so uh, that will be coming out for tonight but um you know if you haven't seen the collective uh reading for the eclipse the lunar eclipse very powerful reading and there's a lot of things going on and i think i'm going to do a special about it just a little chat about it some point in the uh, in the very very near future uh, let's just see um, what's going on with your overall energies here so you you know happy birthday by the way to all of you uh, Scorpios who are having your birthday this week this is pretty much the last week of uh, the uh, Scorpio season and there is a little bit of the energy is not fully flowing at the moment uh, there is a little bit of reticent that's reticence that's going on. A little bit of holding back, I think, uh, from you. Yeah, work, it's maybe it's working on those long-term plans, which is, excuse me, I've got a very itchy nose. Um, working on those long-term plans that may not necessarily, um, uh, it's not very, uh, you know, uh, fiery energy here and now, sort of spontaneity, uh, spontane spontaneity, you know what I mean sort of energy uh coming through uh for you so um yeah it's working on those long-term plans let's just see uh because obviously once you kick into your birthdays and uh, if you're at the beginning of scorpio this is where you're going to be starting working on those long-term plans for those of you having your birthday this week this is where it's going to be kicking off uh for the uh plans for this coming year let's just see what's going on on the karmic message for your relationship side This falls away to here. It's um, I think you've got to bring things into your life here um, a little bit. Allow. I think it's providing space for other people around you. It's a realization. It's a bit of an ascension moment. Yeah, you're uh, you're going to be in a position where um, you've got to provide space for others if you want them in your life. Um, and if you don't, then they won't be. And it's as simple as that. And if you do, it's going to be a real revelation moment for you, uh, an evolutionary moment for you. Uh, and it's, I think you've got to rise to the challenge here in regards to your relationships. And I think you've got to be easier on yourself because you tend to be very hard upon yourself. And when we're hard upon ourselves, we end up being hard upon everybody else that's around us. So i just be a little bit wary of that being hard upon yourself. Um, yeah, having a having an ascension moment, I think, will be really good for you. Finding your true calling within your relationship. I think that's what it is. And you need to allow that space in order for it to happen. Let's just see how the universe is trying to influence this karmic message. This is also... It's... The wave of the new year coming in so things are starting up this is also that ascension of starting that new year um and trying new things and exploring other things i think this is where the universe is trying to un is trying to free you up basically get you out of your head um yeah allow other people to come in be open to new ideas this is backing up that karmic message that I was talking about there and starting on that new journey. The wait is over and, and the universe here is that energy is really pushing into you, um, pushing through you. So yeah, I think it's it's the, the universe is trying to help you free up, basically give you a bit of space, help you create that space to allow others to come into your life. Let's just see how the guides are doing this. They're doing a similar sort of thing here as well. Um, it's coming towards you, so they're drawing things, they're drawing people into your life. 
So you may meet new people or there's other people that you haven't seen for a very long time that will come back up on the radar, as it were. Um, but the guides seem to be here sort of really sort of like, um, yeah, opening you up to new things. Like the Three of Wands is that harbour master. So you're going to welcome ships in from outside and see ships go out. And I think within that, this is where that King of Cups and you get the new love offering. And um, yeah, I think this could be good for you to meet people this week. Uh, really good love um, opportunities for you. Uh, or even if it's just as friendships. Um, but there is definitely a movement that needs to happen uh, from your side. Allowing, but at the same time, allowing space for others to um, come into your life and, and be part of your life. It'd be really interesting. Let's just see what happens to um, the conversation that is within you, how the guys are trying to influence that conversation. They're also pulling into this longer term plan. They're, they're trying to stop you from being too judgmental in a way. And I think it's more on yourself than anything else. It's more of a protection thing. And um, the problem is, is with protection, if you protect yourself, you yourself end up in a cage. That's the thing. That's the problem with protection. And it's it's got to be healthy boundaries rather than, you know, real boundaries. But here is, yeah, they're, they're sort of trying to stop you from sort of saying last time it didn't go so well wasn't brilliant and uh you know i don't want any mistakes this time round. yeah there is a bit of protection going on that seven of wands a bit of concentrating on yourself i wouldn't be wary of the new people coming in i would just leave them space in order for them to express themselves in your life so then you can see clearly whether you want those people in your life it's as simple as that i think but it's definitely um, a moment for meeting new people and um, being open to new ideas, I think, this week for you in regards to the relationships. Let's just see what's happening on the um, financial and your job side, your business side of life. <coughs> Karmic message here. This is pushing forward. You want to get on. You want to move on. You, you know, um, it's difficult sometimes because... You're not the sort of sign that is very reactionary in the sense of spon you know, spontaneous uh, to... Um, did I say that earlier on, actually? I couldn't get that word out. Yeah, but sponta spontaneous to a situation where... You're not a gambler. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, basically, um, Scorpio, you're not a gambler. You're, you're uh, you know, you don't sort of do that sort of thing. And uh, here is sort of like pushing you on. And there's a sense of gambling that's coming into you. Um, Ace of Swords. So there is a definite victory. I think the victory is moving on. I think the victory is uh, getting things moving within your business life, within your projects, within your, uh, your, your, you know, your, your career and stuff like that. Let's just see how the universe is trying to influence this. Well, this isn't pushing so much, but it's certainly building a lot. I think they're waiting for um, the dust to settle on the moon, um, the lunar eclipse as well. Um, and, you know, as I said, on the lunar eclipse, the universe was holding back. And there is that sort of like, you know, it's it's all about timing, I think, gambling or, or intervention or spontaneity. And the universe here is sort of also sort of saying, wait a little bit, wait a little bit, wait a little bit. Maybe you're chomping at the bit to go and to do and move on and stuff like that. And um, because both of these cards here are real sort of holding back cards. Um, and these cards are here, real enlightenment cards. Um, real good new, new cycle, new victory coming in for you, which is uh, quite interesting. Let's just see how the guides are trying to influence this this um, karmic message that is within you. They've got this vortex going on. That's really interesting. They're almost turning. Are you, do you feel like you're, you, you're, you're doing the same thing over and over again? Do you, 
uh, you know, do you feel like that you're getting caught up in um, in your business or your job or your projects where it's just sort of like <sighs> turning all so very fast around you? The guides here are trying to sort of contain that by the looks of things. Yeah, a bit of a leap of faith. And that is a little bit of a leap of faith when you've got a tornado in front of you. Uh, you know, you've got to choose one way or the other. Um, and as I say, that's gambling side in, is within you. And this is the opportunities that guides are building up. They're building up a lot of strength within you um, in order to take that leap of faith to open that business, start that YouTube channel, um, write that book or you know, um, move um, to another another region or, or stuff like that. But it's 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 that other side that the universe is sort of saying, yeah, but do this with a bit of wisdom, I think. There is a, you know, it's wise gambling for you, basically, Scorpio, this week. Let's just see how the uh, guides are trying to influence that conversation that is within you. They're putting, it's, 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 it's like a, a fountain with lots of different, like a, like the Queen of Cups, like, whoosh. it's like, um, it's a flow of water, it's inspirational, it's, um, but there's more than one thing at, at going on here, and I think it's, uh, the guides here within your head is trying to make, uh, make it clear thinking for you, make it clear what you're going on and where you're going to. Yeah, and it is working with other people. And this is the, comes back to this side of letting people into your life. Uh, on the job front and on the business front, there is a bit of a leap of faith. And it is a, you've got to start to learn to trust other people that are around you, I think. Um, and that source of trust is coming from various different uh, areas. So it could be in your business that you've got to trust your suppliers and your clients in order to do that progression within your business. Or you've got to trust your the company that you're working for, your co-workers and what have you. Um, but it's enjoying that trust, enjoying that. Um, and it's that's what the gamble is, maybe. The gamble is is putting yourself out there a little bit. Not too much, but just putting, you know, putting your name, name on the table, you know. So you're going to be considered for, if you're looking for a promotion or any, uh, a progression within your business. Let's just see what's going on in the overall outcome for you. Well, it seems like the following week's going to be, it's as if like um, you've got a car that's, you know, wheel spinning. I don't know what you call that. Um, burning rubber, you know. Uh, it's like that and it's like, chum, you take the handbrake off and boom, like a bit like drag racing, you know? Uh, and it's taking the handbrake off and the green light's gone and, and it's it's time to go, it's time to move, it's time to express yourself and allow your heart to, I think it's going to come from this side, but it's going to be unified on this side because you, if you're allowing people in, it's going to allow you to uh, explore your heart's desires, I think, the following week. I think this week is really preparation for you and a lot of the dust settling from the lunar eclipse as well. And as it does settle, as it does settle that dust, you're gonna have um, coming out this week, coming out from the twentieth onwards. I think things are gonna be a lot easier for you to deal with uh, in the world around you. Uh, it's gonna make you feel like, uh, yeah, you're you're in tune with your heart and your your emotions and your desires and uh, and that sort of thing. Um, so uh, there you go, Scorpio. There is that uh, linked somewhere around my head at some point. The um, reading for the lunar eclipse um, reading, so um, the collective reading, and you will be getting your timestamp reading coming out, I think, tonight after technical details, uh, technical problems that we've been having uh, should be ironed out at uh, some point tonight. Okay, in the uh, meantime, Scorpio, I do appreciate you, uh, your support that you give this channel, really do, nothing without you, um, and liking this channel, sharing its channel, uh, or this reading. Um, you know, obviously subscribing and clicking the bell is absolutely brilliant. And I thank you very much for it. In the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy.